Charlie Edwards, first fight for Queensbury at last. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. I'm really looking forward to it. It's a new chapter of the career now and um, everything's gone perfect in training. Um, my weight feels great. It's a new buzz. It's a new era and I'm really looking forward to Saturday night to get it under our way. You are beaming. I've, I've never seen you smile so much, you know, especially, you know, seeing your interviews in the final sort of flyweight days where you, you said it yourself, you couldn't string together a sentence in fight week. This is a new Charlie Edwards, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. I feel strong. I feel ready. I feel focused. And um, I think this has been the, the most focused I've ever been in my career, if I'm honest. Um, even to a certain extent before when I booked Rosales, I had a lot going on in my private life. I thought it was a bit crazy and stuff, but... Um, this year I've settled myself right down, I've got a good um, woman behind me and um, new, newly engaged and looking to get married soon and I've got a baby on the way so everything has happened in the right time. I feel ready now, having a year out of the, of the game to, to push forward and, and claim world honours again but obviously we can't look past Saturday night and got a good test in um, Carl Williams and like I said I'm happy and a happy fight is a dangerous fighter. All of that the stuff that you're talking about, getting engaged, that you've had a child now as well, congratulations, a new house, it's all happened since the Martinez fight, hasn't it? What a, what a whirlwind of a of sort of 12 months you've had. Yeah, 100%. Um, when I was world champion, I realised at the top of my game, when I was world champion, that it's not cut out what it's made to be, you know? I thought that would bring me happiness. And reality was I was the most miserable when I was at that, at that weight, on my own, lonely going back to my apartment and looking at the belt thinking it was going to bring me happiness and it made me reassess things it made me grow up it made me mature it made me realize what's real and um, this last year i've put all that into place and now i'm in that great stage of of my life where pushing forward in my career is going to be the easy bit well there's there's this theory charlie you know once fighters start making a bit of money once they settle down it get a nice house nice cars it it takes the fighter out of them they become uh, morsel kind of rather than being a fighter is that, is that the case here are you, have you lost some of the hunger no I've got more hunger especially off the back of that last that last fight especially of how I felt it's made me more hungry more determined I've always been in this game to be a multi-weight world champion I've always looked up to the lights of Manny Pacquiao and um, I want to I want to build my legacy and this is the next chapter the WBC world title flyweight title that's the thing of the past like I put that in the past and I, I don't really even dwell on it or think about it anymore. All I'm looking forward to is next step on the journey. And it starts on Saturday night and I've got a tough test in Carl Williams, but it's a real test that I think I can shine great on. And um, I haven't felt this good in a very, very long time. I'm normally drained, dehydrated and um, not functioning properly. So Saturday night is going to be a great fight. So bantamweight then, that's, that's where we're seeing you on Saturday. I've heard you say in other interviews, bantamweight's not actually the weight you're going to be pursuing a world title at, certainly not immediately. So talk to me about that. You're looking at Superfly for world title honours? Yeah, most definitely. Um, I've, re- I've realised in this boxing game that you have to take them dangerous percentages at the world level um, to, to get the world titles and you've got to make them real big sacrifices. Um, Superfly weight will not be easy for me to make, but... I will be able to make it and perform well at it. So, um, yeah, bantamweight is now for the time being. Right now, um, with all COVID going on, it made perfect sense to get to get it in and um, fight come up. And I was like, yeah, I'm big enough. Like you see me standing next to uh, Kyle, I'm probably the same size or a little bit taller. And um, I filled out as well a lot in this last year. And um, you'll see that when I get on the scales. What do you know about Kyle Williams then? Obviously, he's he's the man selected. On Saturday night, he's he's done a, a, a bit in his career. It's not it's not a walkover job. Tell us about him. He's he's a banana skin fight. He's tough. He's game. He's awkward, and um, it's 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 his, it's his World Cup final. Let's don't forget that. Like if he if he upsets the apple cart, it gives him golden opportunities. So he's going to be there, and he's going to come. He's seen in his lot in his fights that he's had. He's had real tough fights, and he's uh, really always put it on the line. So I'm looking forward to that challenge on um, Saturday night. My movements on point. My reactions are even better and um, I'm all round an even better fighter right now and um, that will show. First fight with Frank Warren as well, how are you finding the the experience over on this side with your brother Sonny as well? Oh, I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I feel, I feel valued, I feel loved and um, 
Yeah, I'm looking forward to um, shining on Saturday, especially under the new banner. It's like I said, the dark days are behind me now and it's a beautiful future and um, this is the first step. Give us a prediction then, what's going to happen in there? It's going to be a dominant Edwards performance, it's going to be punch perfect and don't be surprised if I do take him out. Good luck. Cheers.